Uh, it's not for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss the substitution rule for integrals and now look at basically the proof of it. Before I get to it, I just want to quickly go over why we need it by using this example. Basically, our anti-differentiation formulas, which I went over a lot of them in my earlier videos, you can see those in the video link below. They don't tell us how to evaluate integrals such as this one right here of in, uh, this integral of 2x times uh, square root 1 plus x squared uh, dx here. And the, the problem with this one, because it's just more complicated, you're adding basically two functions here. So to find this integral, we could actually use a strategy of introducing something extra by basically changing the variable x to a new variable u to simplify this function. And we would pick u, in this case, to be 1 plus x squared, just for the sole purpose of simplifying the square root. So we'll have a square root of u versus a square root of 1 plus x squared right here. And now uh, if we uh, solve the differential of this one, du is just equal to, well, take the derivative of this is the 0 of 1. So then 2x du, and I'll show you, uh, oh, I mean dx, yes, yeah, dx right here. You can learn more about this uh, method differentials in the video link below. But basically the reason I'm doing this one, uh, I'll now prove that why this method will work. Basically we could substitute this whole thing with it. So we can write this 2x yeah, times square root 1 plus x squared equals now if we uh, basically this there's a 2x dx here so that could be just du and we can substitute this u so we'll have integral of square root of u and then 2x times dx that's this part right here that's just du so as you can see this is much more simpler and now if you solve this uh, find a the uh, antiderivative of this one. This is just u to power of 3 over 2 and then 2 over 3 right here. Just using our basic antiderivative uh, formula. Because this one, when you take the root of this one, it will become basically 3 over 2. This cancels. Subtract by 1 over 2 will be square root of u. So we have this one, but then we can, uh, yeah, then this basically equals 2, 2 over 3, uh, 1 plus x squared, 3 over 2 plus c. And then we could prove that this is right by making, basically taking the derivative of this integral um, and basically we'll get, yeah, if we take the derivative of this one, uh, you could bring this 3 over 2 down, these just cancel, and then so then basically we'll get equals 2, uh, 1 plus x squared, and then we, this is going to be 1 over 2 using power rule, and we have to use chain rule, so take the derivative of 2x, I mean of x squared, that's just 2x and root of c is just zero. So this is correct. Yeah, so now when we look at a, just a general formula, basically we'll call this a substitution rule, and if, and it just states if u equals g of x, uh, if, yeah, if this function of u equals g of x is a differentiable function, meaning the derivative exists, uh, whose range is an interval i, and basically f is continuous on i, this just means on whatever interval it is in, in between, it is continuous and it's also differentiable then basically we'll have the integral of f of g of x equals g prime, I'm not, f of g of x times g prime of x times dx. So in general, we'll just have, this is gonna be substitute u equals g of x. We'll get this integral of f, f of u times du right here. And now to see why this is uh, true, basically in this case right here, I just, uh, I just, basically assumed we could substitute this u inside an integral right here. And now to prove why you can, it's basically I'll, I'll go over the proof right now. If I write proof. Now the proof basically is it's pretty straightforward. We let first of all let f prime, capital F prime equals to f right here. Then in this case we'll have if we take the derivative d of d of x, uh, basically we take the derivative of capital F right here, which is again of G of X. The derivative of this one then we're just going to get F prime times G of X, uh, no, F prime of G of X, because that's this part right here, this function inside this F, but we're just writing this prime right here, just so that we can take derivative and it will look like this. Using chain rule, we have to put this G of X right here. So now we have this part right here, 
So then if this is the derivative of this, and number antiderivative is the same as integrals. So then if we take the integral of this function right here, which is f prime of g of x, um, and then g prime of x, uh, and basically at d of x right here, this equals to, well, we know this is to this one. This just equals to then f of g of x, uh, yeah, this one plus c. So this is the integral of it, because we know the derivative is just, this, all it is an, is an antiderivative. But so if we have this part right here, we could just plug in now, we pl yeah, now we plug in the uh, substitute u for, yeah, for g of x. So now we could substitute u equals g of x. So because we know we could easily substitute in this one, this is not integral. Uh, the, the whole idea is just proving why we could substitute an integral. So we substitute this one here, and we know that again, uh, du would just equal to g prime of x, uh, d of x. So we'll oh, I'll just keep that in there. So now we'll get this part right here. This equals to uh, basically we substitute that in. We'll get f of u plus c. And now this one, if we were to write an integral, this is just a, any random function. Integral is just going to be well. Uh, uh, integral of, of the derivative of this, so f of u, or the uh, this is going to be antiderivative of this, and then du right here. But this equals to well, this part right here. Yeah, so this this basically because we know this part is exactly this, so this equals to this, so then this equals to this one over here. So then this substituting in this ra uh, regular function. This means we could also substitute inside the um, this this integral right here, and I'll show you why. So this would be yes. Yeah, so just plug that in. As you can see, right over here, uh, this du now this is exactly g prime of x times dx. This f prime of u is equal to this. And now if we just switch back to f of prime, yeah, f prime equals to regular or the smaller case f, we'll basically get now this part here which is f of g of x times g prime of x times dx equals to this part exactly and which is just now f of u du. So basically there is our answer, um, there's our proof and this shows that we can substitute directly in the into the integral nothing will, uh, we won't have any problems. Yeah and basically another note from the substitution rule, basically the, the substitution rule says that it is permissible to operate with dx and du after integral signs. Yeah, basically as if they were differentials and you can see, learn more about differentials in my earlier video in the video link below. So basically we could interchange dx, du just by doing a substitution without any worry. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this video and like always you can download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.